What's good, YouTube? This is my Scott Summers, aka Cyclops 3D Print. All right, here goes some of my resin um, that I chose. It's the printer. It's another program for filament. And here's the base, filling in the cracks. Some of the base is resin and some of it's filament. And uh, I try to fill in all those cracks so that uh, it seems uh, seamless when I paint over it. And then uh, next uh, we do the, the body the same way. Fill in all those cracks with some Mr. Putty. Make sure you're wearing some gloves with this like me. That's, <laughs> my hands look terrible right now. Normally they look like a baby's hands, but since I've gotten that 3D printing, uh, uh, I, sometimes I don't do what I'm supposed to do, but I digress. Uh, so yeah, here I'm, I'm filling in where you can't see me filling in. Uh, here we go. Uh, and um, now I'm filling in with my um, my um, tool. All right, so now I put some uh, putty in place on his eyes, and I wish I, I hadn't used that kind of uh, sticky um, tack because it was a, a mess to get off. Now I'm applying uh, my paint to the base, and um, I do it uh, layer by layer, just like it was some real rocks. And uh, if you notice, I cut a hole in the, the side where his foot will rest. And that's where the battery will mount for his uh, eyes. And I, 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 I wired him through the whole body so that um, you can light him from the back of the base. Now um, I'm sitting here and I am painting each level of this rock <laughs> as if it's going to be a real rock. And, and that's what you should do, you know, attention to detail. It's the devil's in the details. And this is one of my favorite parts of sculpting to do, so. But yeah, I use uh, Earth Tones. Uh, still, it needs to be a little um, metal in it, because, I mean, rocks are rocks. But it still has to have that metal... Uh, feel to it also and the rocks that they be fighting on seem like they're on other planets because I've never seen nothing like this unless they fighting in um, the Grand Canyon <laughs> I mean I guess they do need to fight uh, these guys in some big places a uh, sentinel is humongous all right and here goes LeBron James I'm Printing his paint, I'm painting his face up with some gold over this um, red metallic that I did. What I did was I sprayed, uh, uh, you know, primed him first, hit him with uh, a purple um, uh, finish. Then I went over him with a red metallic, and uh, now I'm here doing the base of his face. I don't know why that rhyme, but I'm not a rapper. <laughs> All right, you see him uh, doing a wash on his uh, metal parts behind the uh, face. And um, I decided to uh, give the eyes a, a slight glow by um, taking some resin, uh, some colored resin and, and, and painting it in there and, and hardening it up. Then going back with, um, I think it's the Bugman's Glow from Citadel. Uh, just to give it a little bit of um, uh, a glow to it. I know he's dead, but, you know, the, the lights, they dimmer and flicker out as they die. <laughs> That's what I'm guessing. <laughs> but here I am still doing a metal wash and now the body. So what I'm doing now is I'm hitting him with the yellow first. Um, like I said, I wanted him to have that traditional uh, uh, X-Men look from the Marvel days of, of Jim Lee. Uh, still try to do it, you know, with uh, some realism, but I do want it to have a comic book look. 
So I'll um, hit them with the, um, the yellow base and then go back and color them in with some highlights and low lights because it's still still a 3d sculpture still a 3d print so you know you know you got some guys that like to do the um the cell shading which is pretty cool i love that but um, I, i'm in more into realism also i think i will try that cell uh painting also it looks pretty cool i watched this guy he, he did uh, uh thanos um posted it on uh, Wicked 3D's uh, page on Facebook. Now I'm uh, hitting um, the face with a base and um, it, it is a pink from the uh, game line from uh, Vallejo. Then I will go back and I will add the, um, the, the wash after I've, I've um, uh, sealed it with a, a varnish. Make sure that you seal it first because I've made this mistake of thinking that I can uh, <laughs> uh, do a wash over something that's freshly painted. And what the wash does, it becomes freckles in your uh, paint. And it is you're gonna have to do it over you can't wash it out you can't wipe it off nothing because it's stuck in that color you'll learn some of the tricks of the trade uh, as you um, get better at painting and you know this is something that is ongoing for a lifetime if, if you're into this uh, I've been painting since I was a, a child and I, I literally mean a child my mom she was an artist, and she uh, and my cousin uh, Craig, they they made me uh, who I am today uh, when it comes to art. Cause <clears throat> I had someone, I had an influence to copy, and those two were it. Uh, also, I have a, a you know an uncle on my dad's side that was uh, very creative. My uncle Lucky, and um, I'd say I got the craftiness from him because. Uh, he used to make things that used to blow my mind, and he taught me how to make them also, little figurines out of cardboard. And uh, he would take chewing gum and 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 put them between the joints, like the arms and the legs and the head, and, and make them move. They would, they would rotate. It was crazy how we did those things. Uh, I remember we made a... Um, a Star Wars, uh, 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 what was it, like the speeder, it was like a, a little uh, plane. We make that out of cardboard, make it like it was getting ready to be on set. And then put some bottle rockets on them <laughs> and let them blast down the street, uh, take to the, um, the, the wings on them. And uh, of course, you know, he was just, the, 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 the jet was destroyed after that. <laughs> But uh, those are the things that we did when I was a kid, which was fun. And um, it's, it's just, you know, that's just one part of my life that, that um, was was fun in, in art. You know, I've always been into this. Uh, I used to draw so much when I was a kid, especially Marvel stuff and DC stuff, Superman, whatever. But I used to draw so much that my dad would put me on punishment from drawing and painting. <laughs> he would put my stuff up in his closet because I, I would draw on everything. But, uh, back to Scott. So now I'm uh, doing uh, the details of his face. Got the um, eyebrows in, making sure, you know, it's uh, multicolored because hair, when that light hits it, it is multicolored. Especially, uh, you know, flowing here like this. Okay, so now he's taped the mask off and I'm hitting him with a base of uh, blue. And I went with the um, a Vallejo uh, blue. I forgot which one it was, but it was a darker color because I like to go from dark to light when it comes to uh, coloring and shading.
and because he was so big i'm sorry you guys got to see this mess <laughs> but <laughs> i'm in the middle of uh, moving things into storage to make more room for uh us to live in here before we buy our next house but uh yeah he was so massive that i had to paint him like this that's on top of uh, um a five gallon uh uh um container but yeah, I built this rig for my um, phone to hang from. So it's normally hanging over the the booth that I built right there. But uh, he's so massive, I can't I can't be in the same place with him at the same time. Uh, I printed him at two hundred percent, so he is humongous. And I think I will do him again, um, maybe two or three more times for Comic Con. Uh, but uh, unpainted, and I probably do them at 100%. So the next guy can, you know, put his thing on it. All right, we're getting uh, close. We, we're doing the hair, doing the base with uh, this Vallejo orange brown. I love that color because that that looks like uh, Jim Lee colored it. <laughs> If you have that that uh, comic book cover, I, I have the the four covers where they all make one where they uh, fight Magneto, but that's that's the most famous one to me, and um, that's what I was going for. So now I'm doing some um, details, uh, you know, putting the red into that X symbol. It was kind of hard doing it at that angle. So if you see some mistakes, uh, uh, let me know. I'm wiring them up. It works. Boom. And now he's ready for presentation. He's in the dark right now, but you you get why i'm doing that i know you get why i'm doing that because the eyes light up <laughs> uh. yeah i love this guy this was one of the best that i've done um i wish i would have uh um did a little bit heavier on the um the um the priming on, on top of the head because the light shines through a little bit. But hey, we don't know if his head lights up when those eyes are going because um, that blast is pretty powerful. <laughs> but uh, I'm not going back to, to repaint him again. I did it already. But he looks cool without the light. All right, I hope you guys like my Cyclops. Uh, he was a lot of work. Uh, a lot of uh, time went into him. Uh, I try not to rush it, but um, I did it as best as I could with the time constraints that I have between work and uh, home. But uh, yeah, I, what I did was, um, my intention was to make him kind of comic book accurate even though you know he has uh you know items on him that could be uh used in the real world i still wanted him to have that that comic book look from uh when jim lee did the uh, the covers for uh, for uh, marvel because that is my favorite uh artist jim lee and then um and cyclops is up there uh for my favorite superheroes he, he he's He's the man, but um, yeah, uh, I did the four, the four um, head sculpts. So the first one, you see, uh, he's got the the eyes getting ready to blast. It looks like it's painful. <laughs> and then uh, the the wincing eyes. Uh, this shit hurts. <laughs> and then, uh, 
and then the um, the blast with the the um, goggles. Didn't have too many problems uh, with my prints. Uh, I did miss a couple of uh, spots um, when it comes to uh, taking care of the the, the prep work. Um, you, you, sometimes you don't see them until you've already you know done it, and it's not that serious where I need to go back and sand it all down and, and, and take out a couple little indentions, but. Uh, it's a few here and there, but nothing that the, um, the non-3D printer would notice. But, um, yeah, um, this was a fun uh, job to do. And I look forward to doing a couple more uh, in, in the next few days. And you guys stay tuned. Uh, once again, I did change the name of my channel to uh, Sergeant Digital Designs to uh, match uh, my actual uh, business name. So this is what I'll be doing and you guys uh, can see me at Comic-Con in Virginia Beach uh, in April, not May, April, but May, um, the weekend of May 24th. And uh, look forward to uh, seeing you guys if you come by my booth. All right, so this is uh, Scott Summers, AKA Cyclops. And I uh, hope you guys like it. If you do, subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and i will keep coming all right peace out